Hi, today we'll continue modding my Sega Dreamcast. I started in one of my previous videos, I installed a GDMU, the plan was to install Noctua Fan, unfortunately I didn't have the bracket, it didn't arrive on time, so we'll do it today. And I'll also install battery holder for um, standard bat for, for the battery, and um, I'll install the diode so that I can use standard um, CR2032, I believe, batteries. Uh, if you want to use rechargeable batteries, you can still install this, this holder, and then just place the ML2032, I believe. I'll put the description somewhere uh, on the screen. But I want to use just standard cheap batteries. Uh, they will hold, there's no problem with them, but I just need to install the, the diode. So what, what you'll need for, for this whole thing is obviously the Noctua fan. And this is uh, something that I didn't receive last time. So this is the complete kit for, for installing Noctua fan. So we have this, um, this bracket to hold the, the fan. Uh, this is the um, uh, uh, latch or whatever it is to, because the, the original one, sorry, it's the latch that opens the, the, um, the drive cover. So the original one is slightly too big, so this should come with your kit, or you need to print it yourself, and this um, this cable. There is a resistor, or there should be a resistor, we'll check that inside. If you make this cable yourself, it's it's very easy, uh, you just need a resistor, and I'll, uh, let's, we'll, we'll test what resistor is in here. So that's, uh, all, that's all if you want to install uh, Noctua mode, and then for for the battery mode, this is the battery holder, uh, something like this, and you'll need the diode. This is a Schottky diode, and the, what you need to buy is um, BAT85 or BAT85S. I think they are identical except for the package. One of them is slightly, I think, larger, or I, I don't know. But uh, this is what you need. You, you just need one of these. So Schottky diode, and uh, and we'll install that in here. So um, let's go ahead and do that. So I'll take I'll, I'll take this thing apart. Um, it's exactly the same process as in last video. So just essentially remove the modem, remove four screws, and uh, and it's done. So I'll do that off camera and come back. Okay. So I took off the top cover, the GDMU that I installed last time, the, um, the dummy or load for the power supply and first problem I can see this is apparently one of the early VA1 revisions PAL and we have a metal fan the problem with this is that it has that metal or the part of that metal bracket uh, goes in a way where this fan should go so um, yeah We'll, I'll need to disassemble that, take the top, top, um, the top shield and cut off a piece of metal. I'll do that off camera and I'll show you how I cut the, that metal and we can continue installing the, the fan. So I'll be back in a while. Okay, so I took um, everything apart. So to, to remove that, you'll obviously need to remove PSU, you need to remove this part, but this is okay, we'll need to remove it anyway to mod the battery. And this then comes off, and just to prove the point, this is VA1, as you can see, and it has a metal uh, fan. So I'll need to remove this fan, Now with most VA1s, you won't have that problem at all. You will, you won't have to remove any, any of it, uh, because the fan will just fit here. Sorry, uh, my phone. So again, with with the regular VA1, you won't need to do anything. Uh, you'll have just plastic, plastic uh, fan, and it'll work. Uh, for this one, unfortunately, I will have to cut this part off. So this part off. 
unfortunately this is quite thick as you can see metal so it will take some time so i'll come back when when it's done okay so let's make a pause here apparently i lost my audio for a while so i'll have to improvise and do a voiceover from now on so i uh, took off this part of that metal so i just cut it off uh, filed it so that i don't hurt myself so I'll put the whole thing back, uh, make sure the pads are in place. So there's two pads, one that goes on the CPU, I think, and the other on that other chip, I don't know what it is. And also don't forget about this ribbon cable. So just uh, push it through that, that uh, hole in the board and just secure the board, make sure it fits, fits in place. And that's, that's pretty much it. Now I'll uh, put the, all the screws back in to secure this, this plate and I'll come back in a minute and we'll install the, the fan so I'll just uh, just trying if it fits now and it does it everything seems to fit correctly so yeah I'll, I'll uh, put the screws back on and we'll be back in a, mi in a few minutes so I've put all the screws back on I put the power supply back on um, so everything is back in place uh, and before actually before we start installing the fan uh, we'll take care of that battery mod, so um, it'll be easier to install the, the this board first and then the fan. So all you need to do is to remove the battery, the old battery. This one is dead, obviously. This is rechargeable battery, and it's dead. It's soldered to the board, so it has to be removed. You can do it whatever way you want, with the solder wick or any other way to remove it. So just desolder these four point, these three points, sorry, these uh, three points, and remove the battery. It, it'll be fairly easy. This is just one-sided board, so just uh, just remove it. Solder wick will work. Then install the the battery holder. Make sure the polarity is right. So this is positive side. So install the battery uh, the battery holder in the same way. So the positive side goes out kind of out, outwards. And again, this the the holes on the board will kind of guide you. There's only why one way you can install it. But just just to make sure, double check you have the polarity correct right and uh, and that's it so if you if you don't if you don't want to use uh, regular batteries you if you want to use re uh, rechargeable batteries that's all you need to do just install the holder uh, install the battery and that's it but i want to install i want to use regular batteries not rechargeable batteries which they are cheap the regular ones 20 35 i believe these are very cheap and I want to use them. And to do that, um, you need to. I, I need to install that um, Schottky diode. So you need to cut this this um, uh, resistor or one of the legs of the resistor, which goes there to that that hole. So cut it, and then install right here. Cut it right right here. I'll show you. So somewhere here, cut it off. Remove that remaining part of the leg. And install the Schottky diode. Now make sure you have the kind of polarity right or the direction right. So there is that black stripe on the diode, and it needs to go go down. So that black stripe goes towards the board. So just push that 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 side or that wire through the board, solder it. In place of the that that leg that you cut off, and solder the other part or the other side to the to to that uh, resistor, and that's that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do. So I'll I'll do it off camera, and uh, I'll come back and show you when it's done. So it's all done. As you can see, the battery holder is in place, secure, soldered onto the board, and the diode is solder as well so again just make sure the black stripe goes towards the the pcb towards the board that black stripe there goes faces down and so essentially this diode replaces that one of the legs of the resistor um, so that's all you need to do cut it off cut the leg of the resistor remove it solder the the diode back in and solder it solder the diode and solder it to to the board obviously on one side and to the to the leg of the resistor
that's that's all you need to do so i'll put it back and put the screws back in uh, put the ribbon cable back in just make sure uh, the ribbon cable goes fully in um, because otherwise your ports controller ports won't work so um, fit it in put the battery back in and uh, and that's it that's that's done okay so the ribbon cable is back on um, now I'll go ahead and install the the fan so first first thing you need to do just install that uh, 3d printed bracket uh, reuse the screws from the original bracket so just uh, place it uh, onto those two posts and then use the again original screws put the screws back in and then just uh, fit the, the fan uh, doesn't really matter which way it goes um, I, um, the, I I put it this in this orientation just one thing that you need to make sure is that uh, make sure it goes the correct way so make sure that the air is blown out from away from from the from inside so there is an on the on the fan there is an arrow that will show you the direction of the airflow so make sure it face it, it, it the arrow points out okay so i realized i had no audio for a while but let's check if there's a resistor here in here so there should be 10k i believe resistor between the red and the yellow so the um, multimeter here red and yellow and yes there is a resistor there so again if you're doing it by yourself you need to make sure that you have a resistor that is between the red and yellow uh, otherwise it just won't work so anyway I'll put that aside now and I'll need to install this this is kind of quite long so maybe I'll do it like that so I'll put this part first probably should have done that before I installed the fan but anyway I think it will fit let me bring some pl uh, my pliers okay so let me do it that way this is going to be tricky um, don't want to take this out again there so I got it sits there nicely I'll put this in here and yeah I'll probably put it somewhere here something like that maybe yeah that should work anyway now obviously I need to disorder these wires that go to that dummy load so I'll solder them back in put the GDMU back in oh by the way one more thing you need to do this and to replace this latch all you need to do is just take this out uh, don't lose it don't lose this spring so it goes like that remove the screws Take out this original latch, put the 3D printed one right there, put those two screws back on,
and then the, the spring. Just like that, and let's try if it works. It does. So that's that's all. So um, what I'll do again, I'll put this whole thing back on. So I'll solder these wires back in for the dummy load. Again, if you want to see what this is for, uh, have a look at my previous video, and uh, I'll put it all back, and we'll turn it on and see if it works. Okay, so I've put everything back together and let's power it up so it does power up the fan is working I mean you I can, I can still hear it from very close but compared to what it was compared to this one it's a night and day this is really quiet um, so yeah that's that's all uh, again everything is very easy all this is really easy including the, the install of this uh, Schottky diode um, the only problem with this particular one was that metal uh, metal um, fan and that metal piece of metal that was um, preventing me from installing this um, this new fan but again it, it's not hard at all uh, it can be done no problem so that's all for today uh, if I ever buy um, the HDMI for Dreamcast DC digital version 2 I believe I'll do another video but uh, for now I just don't have money I think it's a little bit too expensive for me so that's it I will uh, go ahead and enjoy my newly modded Dreamcast thank you